Well, for the last few days, local hotels have become temporary homes for so many people in our area as they wait patiently for their power to come back on. KZI 9 News reporter Madison Glassman spoke with some of the many who are seeking refuge. For the past few days, employees at the Springfield Holiday Inn say almost half of their guests are people seeking a temporary home. Ryan Shepard lives minutes away from the hotel in Springfield, but Sunday night when his power went out... First thought, I have to get close to my job. Shepard says he's been staying at hotels in the area since Sunday night and walking to and from his job. Not the ideal situation, but something he feels he needs to do. Like my car does not get out of where it's stuck at. <laughs> the same goes for Fall Creek resident Sherry Stewart. It does look kind of like a war zone when you go home. She made her way into town in search of a warm place to sleep and Wi-Fi. I work from home and without power and internet and the cell service was is just so overworked, I believe. Um, finally yesterday, I just said I have to get caught up and get my work going. And both these guests told me they're staying here because they have to go on with their lives as business as usual. But both of them tell me they long to go home. I've got a four year old, you know, I have a wife. It's it's killer. The Fall Creek Lowell community is just amazing. There are I've, I've teared up several times just the the, the family and the camaraderie of our neighbors has just been incredible. Both Stewart and Shepard say they will return home tomorrow with no official word on when their power will come back. In Springfield, Madison Glassman, KEZI 9 News. Well,